Time and Work Part 1 Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. Today's topic is going to be Time and Work. Now, problems in Time and Work can be very hard to solve. But if you know one simple rule, you can solve them easily. This rule is called the Rule of Flip. Alright, so now the Rule of Flip basically says that if you take n days to finish a task, then every day you will finish one by n of it. Now, to explain this, consider I am eating a cake. Alright? Now suppose I take 4 days to finish a piece of cake, uh, the entire cake. Alright, so I take 4 days to finish this cake. And I'm assuming that I'm eating it uniformly every day. So I'll eat one piece every day, correct? So that means I'm eating one fourth of it every day. If, in, if I need to finish it in 4 days, that means every day I'm eating one fourth of the cake. So 4 days, 1 by 4. N, 1 by N. Let's start solving a problem. Problem 1. Worker A takes 8 hours to do a job. Worker B takes 10 hours to do the same job. How long should it take both A and B working together but independently to do the same job? Now the first sum is very easy. They say that A takes 8 hours to finish a task and B takes 10 hours to finish the same task. Alright? Now by rule of flip, we know that if A takes 8 hours to finish a task, then every hour he finishes 1 by 8 of the work. And B takes 10 hours, so by rule of flip, um, every hour B finishes 1 by 10th part of the work. Now, they are both working together but independently. Independently means B does not affect A's work and A does not affect B's work. They are simply working together. So now every hour, A is working and B is working. So if you combine them, then every hour, A is doing this much, 1 by 8th of his work and B is doing 1 by 10th of his work. So together, or if you take an LCM, that will be 18, or 8 tens are, and 10 eighths are, this will become 18 by 80. Right? This much part of the work is done every hour. Now if you want to find how much time it takes, rule of flip, again. So this is the work done, if you inverse it, it will give you how much time it takes. This is in hours. So if you flip it, the work will get done in, by rule of flip, 80 by 18 hours. If you simplify it, uh, 2 nines are, 2 40 are. So 40 by 9, or uh, 9 threes are 36, 9 fours are 36. So 4, 4 by 9. Right? 9 4 is 36 plus 4 is 40, 40 by 9. So 4, 4 by 9 hours, the work will get completed. Let's move on to problem number 2. Problem 2. A and B together can complete a piece of work in 4 days. If A alone can complete the same work in 12 days, in how many days can B alone complete that work? Now problem 2 says A and B complete a task in 4 days, whereas only A will take 12 days. You should understand that if both are working together, it will get done faster. Now. In, as we see in the previous problem, if both are working, then they are each contributing their individual work every hour. Right? So now A will contribute 1 by A and B will contribute 1 by B. Right? If they do together work, they finish in 4 days. By rule of flip, if they finish the work in 4 days, then every day they are finishing 1 by 4th of the work. Correct? So 1 by A plus 1 by B gives you 1 by 4. Now only A takes 12 days. So if A takes 12 days to finish the task, then by rule of flip, Every day he finishes 1 by 12. So 1 by 8 will be 1 by 12. I simply substitute this here. So it says 1 by 12 plus 1 by b is equal to 1 by 4. Now you need to gain speed in these kind of calculations. 1 by b, take this on that side. So it's 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12. The LCM will be 12. 4 3 is a so this will become 3 minus 1. So this is 2 by 12. 1 by 6. This much is done by B every hour, uh, every day, I'm sorry. B does 1 by 6 of the work every day. So in how many days, by rule of flip, the work is done by B in 6 days. This is the answer. Let's move on to problem number 3. Problem 3. A is twice as good a workman as B, and together they finish a piece of work in 18 days. In how many days will A alone finish the work? Alright, problem 3. Now, A is twice the workman of B. Correct? Let us understand this statement. Let us say, B can eat one piece of cake every minute. Now A is twice the workman of B. That means A will eat two pieces of cake for every one piece that B eats. Considering there are three pieces of cake, all right, altogether, A will eat two pieces out of those, out of the three, two by three, and B will eat one out of those three pieces. So technically, A is doing two third of the work, and B is doing one third of the work. Now if you get this concept clear, we can solve this problem. So A is twice the workman of B and we know that A and B complete the work in 18 days. Now we know that the, when they are both working together independently, 
they are both contributing the individual work. So now, individually, every day A gives 1 by A and B's everyday work will be 1 by B. To find the total work done every day, by the rule of flip, if it takes 18 days to finish a task, every day, 1 by 18th of it is done. Right? So now, we know that 1 by 18th of the work is done every day. However, we also know that A will do 2 thirds of the work and B will do 1 third. So let us find how much A does from this 1 by 18th. We know it's 2 third. So if we multiply 1 by 18 into 2 by 3, 2 ones are 2 nines are. 9 things are 27. So 1 by 27. This is the amount of work that A does every day. By rule of flip, if every day A does 1 by 27 of the work, then A will finish the work in 27 days. This is your answer. So this is part 1 on the lecture on time and work where we saw the rule of flip. Alright, in my coming videos I'll solve many more problems. If you found this video helpful, do like it and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you tell your friends about it on Facebook. Thank you. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support. I've been getting loads of emails from you guys telling me how helpful these videos are. You guys continue to inspire me to make more. Make sure you tell your friends about my lectures and help me help more students. Cheers!